tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. Hello friends, we're gonna do something very nice today. We have this scene here which I prepared where a man walks or runs through a sphere. And in this tutorial I'll show you how to create an effect so the man shoves through that sphere and the sphere should behave like sand. You can do this with the end particle simulation module here in Maya. Go to FX and particles and uh, this is a very powerful tool really but uh, there are reasons to use Bifrost Graph which sits here Bifrost Graph Editor. If you don't see this go to Settings Preferences, the Plugin Manager and activate the Bifrost modules Then you find the Bifrost Graph Editor right here. I show you a website before we actually start this is the Autodesk Maya area and here you see an M made of uh, well smoke and fire etc. And that's one of the effects you can do with the Bifrost Graph method. And uh, we'll deal with MPM today. The material point method was made famous by its use as a snow solver in Disney's Frozen. We teamed up with Jixi Effects, founded by members of the original research team, to develop a production-ready MPM solver. One of the key advantages of MPM is that the behavior of simulations remains consistent as resolution increases. While the original MPM work focused on snow, now we can do mud, sand, cloth, textiles, plastics, fibers or strands, etc. We'll do SAND today and we'll memorize this abbreviation here, this acronym MPM. If you don't have such a scene available, well, what I did uh, was going to Windows and General Editors and the Content Browser and in the Content Browser I picked uh, uh, animations and I used one of these rigs here and I just uh, planted the, the one of the motions into this character here and then I exported it to Alembic but that's not really necessary. You need some geometry which will basically serve as a collider. So the person here, the man, the running man will collide with the sand here and this is just a just standard sphere here. You see in the outliner Eric is just geometry with uh, animation and uh, this is the sphere and nothing else. So um, let's go to Windows now and the Bifrost Graph Editor. The Bifrost Graph Editor wants you to start with a brand new graph here unless you have one saved somewhere. We don't need the input node because we're gonna input our sand object and the sand object is the sphere. Middle mouse drag the sphere into here. So that's our input. And now we're gonna use the MPM section here. In the empty space right here just press the key tab briefly and you'll see an entry field where you can type in MPM. That's what I'm doing now. MPM and I get seven options. One is the MPM solver settings, one is the cloth, the fiber, another one is the simulate MPM and then source fluid, sand and snow. We need three modules and you need to memorize that. Crucial is the MPM solver settings. Let's put this to the side. The next thing which is crucial is the simulation engine. This is sim simulate MPM. And the third thing is whatever you want to use as an MPM simulation material, for example, a fiber or in our case, sand. So we have three modules now, source, sand. This is basically the sand engine. 
it uh, incorporates the abilities of sand as opposed to snow for example that would be the source MPM snow module then then you have the simulation engine which does the simulation according to certain parameters and when you select this and check out what's happening here nothing is happening here because the simulation engine just stands for itself and uh, it needs settings it needs something about gravity etc some information about gravity and wind etc and that's what the MPM solver settings do and you see everything is filled here and um, we will now make a connection when you make connections in the Bifrost graph editor have a look at the naming conventions for example the mesh and the geometry they kind of look familiar so the mesh geometry information goes out to the geometry input of our sand module so now the sphere is basically interpreted as sand here you have sand source and here you have sources so let us connect this so the sand module goes into the simulation engine the settings and the settings so we can feed in the settings into the simulation engine so it has two entries one is the sand the material behavior and the other one is the gravitation and um, well all the other things about mass density etc and finally we have granular particles not a volume not a cloth mesh not a fiber strands which we feed into the output and now the connections are done it takes a second or two or maybe three until the connections are actually valid and you can see this by hovering the mouse over here now it's done um, so be patient with it now what does it look like now the simulation takes time and you see something is falling down and that's the sand we're not gonna do a fancy shading or rendering here we just want to see the effect what you don't want to see is the original sphere so let's select it and press H to hide it the interesting effect here is when you go back to the very beginning this blob does not jump up but when you run the simulation again it does now we need to make this walking running man collide with our sand sphere how do we do this well again in this module here by the way if you think that you're ready with this three-part object here select the three objects and right mouse click create a backdrop so you have a backdrop so you see okay this is the sand simulation engine that's everything I need for simulating the sand okay we need Eric now middle mouse drag it into this field here and now I need a collider so I just press the tab key again and collider there's only one node which starts with the letters C O L L and this is the collider let's have a look what uh, we have an, as an input and as an output that's actually quite interesting and always keep in mind you need to make connections so have a look at what you can connect what the input and the output is and one of the inviting things again is the geometry and this time we don't want the sphere which is our sand to be the colliding object it's Eric so we feed Eric into the geometry node here now Eric is a collision object but we don't know with what it should collide and that's the output here and if you search the inputs here you see colliders here the simulation engine the simulate MPN MPM node has an input called colliders so we make a connection over here now Maya has to think a little bit and again just hover the mouse over here and when it does this uh, you can be sure that it is working we go to the beginning of the simulation and we run it now
So the particles fall down under the influence of gravity and our runner runs through it and shoves the sand to the side. Let's stop the simulation here just to have a look. So you, now you've seen MPM at work with sand. Of course you can get rid of the gravity now and you need to get into the one of the three nodes, obviously, or the settings node in this case, in order to make manipulations to the sand appearance. And you can just briefly render it and uh, that's what I'm going to show you. And with this I leave you alone and have a nice day. Bye bye.